Hey everybody, it's Jason from the Texas Gun Vault, and once again I'm coming to you with another field strip video. And today's field strip is going to be on the Browning Buckmark, and this particular model is the Contour. Now this will be a very similar takedown to most of the Buckmark models. The only differences might be the metal that the gun is made of, the finish, and the length of the rail. But this should be a very similar process as I mentioned. Now I just did a range report on this firearm, and I did have a red dot reflex sight on it but you have to take off the optics to take this gun apart the only tools you're going to need will most likely be two allen wrenches and i am not 100 percent sure if it is the same size for every firearm in the buckmark line so i just found the two that work for this gun you might have to find the ones that work for your particular model so to start this field strip first thing we're going to do is drop the magazine and of course ensure there is no ammunition in it we can then set that aside then we will safety check the firearm ensure that there is no ammunition in the chamber and that the gun is clear and we are good now normally you will want to put a gun on safe especially if the hammer is back but in this case you want to keep the safety off because we will need to manipulate the slide and when the safety is on you cannot manipulate the slide we're going to start by taking off the screws on the top rail some models will have two this particular one has three so it does not matter what order you take these off on they will be probably put on with a little bit of loctite and there will also be a little star washer on each one of those you want to make sure that you do not lose those as you can see the star washer came with this one so let's take off all three of the screws on this top rail And now we can take the top rail off of the firearm. We can set that aside and of course make sure that those washers and the screws are kept together. Now you have to be really careful here because this little firing pin block is spring loaded. And so what we're going to do is we're going to bring the slide back just a little bit. We're going to make sure that we keep our fingers on this block. We're going to lift it up and out. So we'll pull it back just a little bit then we will lift up on it be very 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 careful it will come up and then out just like that you'll also have a little buffer here in the back we can take that off set that aside this firing pin unit is one piece now if you want to take this down even further there's a little clip on the back then the spring would come out the back and then the recoil spring guide rod will come out the front of the block now we can go to the back and the slide will simply come off the firearm just like that now the last thing you want to do is take off the barrel and the barrel is held in place by this screw right here in the front so make sure you find the proper allen wrench for it it might be in there a little bit tight so just take your time so unscrew this you do not have to take this screw all the way out it will come to a point when the barrel will come off of the frame and that is far enough and now the barrel will come off the frame and that is a complete field strip of this firearm now browning says with typical and normal use you do not have to take this whole gun apart to clean it all you have to do is open the action and get a swab through the barrel a brush through the barrel clean out the action of the gun from the side and you would be fine but i know because 22 long rifle is a very dirty cartridge this is something you probably want to do after thousands of rounds so that is how to field strip it so now let's put this gun back together and like most firearms putting it back together of course will be the opposite of disassembly so we're going to go ahead and start with the frame and the barrel we'll put the barrel in the frame we'll come to the front of the firearm and now we're going to tighten down that screw 
It is important to remember to finger tighten this thing. Don't over torque it because you do not want to damage the barrel or that screw. So just finger tight, make sure everything is secure. Looks like that barrel is in there just like it should be. The next thing we're going to do is put on the slide. Now you have to make sure that the hammer is cocked for this, but be careful because the safety can't be on. So you don't want to accidentally pull that trigger. We'll put the slide on the back, push it forward, and it should line up with the rails. Now the next thing we're going to do is take that little plastic buffer. You'll notice that there is a hole that goes through it. You want to line it up with the hole on the back of the frame here and it should drop right in. Then we'll take the whole recoil spring assembly and firing pin assembly. We will put the guide rod through that hole. Now we're going to lift up on the slide just a little bit we're going to pull that block back and put it into the slide. Be very careful here because you don't want to lose that whole mechanism and have it go flying out. Then you can simply put it back in the gun. This can be the little tricky part here. As you can see, there it goes. Just want to make sure it fits in that gun securely and everything looks like it is back together like it should be. Now we're gonna put on this top rail. Make sure all the holes line up and make sure we always have those little tiny star washers in each one of the places where you're going to put the screws. Make sure they go the correct way. Then we will tighten each one of these screws down. All right, and it's really important that just like the screw on the front of the barrel, you just hand tight these. You don't want to over torque them. You don't want to damage anything. And then just make sure that they are all secure. And the gun should be back together now. Then we want to pull the slide back, make sure everything works and functions. Then we can insert the magazine, ensure the slide locks back. And it looks like we are good. And there we go. That is a fully field stripped and reassembled Browning Buckmark. This particular model is the Contour. It's definitely a little bit more difficult to take apart. It just doesn't come apart with a lever. But this is not a gun that is a tactical firearm that you need a quick disassembly for. It is a target gun. So there you go. I hope this video helps somebody in the future. And as always, thanks for watching.